Right, good morning everyone. Welcome to this week's video. What an absolute beautiful day it is by the river today. We're in Bungie Stave today. We're going to be taking a look at the Neres Just Fun Whitewater Pack Raft. <laughs> So thanks for joining us this week. So beautiful day by the river today, bit of a frost on the ground today. Uh, we're down at Bungie Stave. We are going to be taking a look at another Neris pack raft today. We're going to be taking a look at the Neris Just Fun. Got the name right this week. Right, so the first thing with this pack raft is it is a lot smaller than the Big Fun EXP we took a look at last week. So the pack raft packed up in this bag, this weighs 7.4 kilos. It is a shorter pack raft, but we'll have a little bit of look at that later on. Right, so let's get this unpacked. I'm not gonna to spend too much time uh, showing you how to pump up the pack raft, but uh, we'll get this inflated and we'll get it on the water. So the first obvious difference between this pack raft, the Just Fun, compared to the Big Fun is that the inflation valve is actually on the stern of, uh, of this pack raft and it doesn't have the overpressurization valve on the opposite side like the Big Fun has. So anyway, we're just going to get this connected up and uh, get this inflated and then we'll take a look at all the uh, other bits on this pack raft. <laughs> Right, so that's the pack raft pretty much inflated. I'm not gonna fully inflate it just as yet. I'm just gonna disconnect this now and then connect this up to the inflatable floor. Right, so that is the pack raft pretty much inflated. Uh, I've just got the inflate the, the tubes fully and then we've just got the seat to do and then we'll take a look at it. Right, last little bit for inflation. So we've just got the seat to inflate. So that is basically the same as what it is on the on the big fun or on uh, one of the Acor Extreme pack craft. So it's just the little manual inflation valve at the back there. So we'll just get that done. So there we go. So that is the Just Fun Whitewater pack raft all uh, inflated and ready to go. The first thing that you will notice is that it is smaller than what the Big Fun is. I'm 183. I have had a test paddle in this and it is tight and I did get cramp at the bottom there. So if you're anything bigger than about 180, this is a real, real tight pack raft for you. I mean, I've even had to push the, the seat as far back as it goes there and it's still there. a bit too small for me. but anyone below 180 this is going to be a fantastic little white water pack raft so let's just take a look at what comes with this pack raft so you've got this really heavy duty carry bag here that can fit the pack raft the pump and all of the other extras as well you've also got this repair kit that comes in a dry bag as well you've got the spray deck and then you've also got a cockpit cover as well and obviously that goes over the cockpit um, if you're storing it and you don't want to get water inside of uh, the pack raft itself inside the pack raft you've got the air mattress you don't have a foot brace because obviously this is a smaller pack raft and then you've got the inflatable seat as well on the deck of the pack raft you've got this little pouch here so you can store a few bits and then you've also got the d-rings uh, you've got four on the bow and four on the stern so you can attach your bag on top of uh, your pack raft so as i mentioned before this is a smaller pack raft there is limited space of storage inside the pack raft itself personally for me just so i can just fit inside of it i've had to push the seat all the way back so there's literally no storage at the back of the pack raft there So the, other, the only other issue we've got is this is the Just Fun Whitewater variant. But where I live, the only white water I get is when the kids leave the bloomin' taps on. This is as quick as we can get around here. But anyway, we'll get in the water, we'll give it a paddle, and we'll see how it is. So the one thing I didn't mention before is, obviously being a whitewater pack raft, it has got the thigh straps built into it as well. So I have I said I have actually paddled this the other day got this all set up and there we go so it is really really comfy I must say it's comfy but my feet are squashed um, I can't remember the exact uh, internal measurement of the pack raft I'll stick it uh, on the video just there just now but um, 
you know, it's it's a really, really sturdy little pack craft. Um, shorter than 180, I would say, would be perfect for this. But anyway, let's get the paddle and let's go see what it's like. Right, so this pack raft handles really, really well. You do sit high up, which personally, I think compared to some of the other TPU pack rafts is a lot better, because you've got more of a downstroke with your paddle instead of when you're sitting sort of below the tubes, you're sort of paddling like this to get your paddle into the water. So you're higher up, which gives you a better, a better paddle position. It's a lot shorter but there's still space to stick your bag on the front. You've also got the space on the, on the stern as well there, so you can attach a bag on the back there as well. Uh, internal space, for me, zero. Actually, minus zero on this as well. If you are shorter, then you would have the possibility of having a little bit of uh, storage space behind your seat here. But uh, other than that, um, the only storage space you've got is uh, on top of the deck here. But just remember that there are accessories that you can buy from Neris, uh, like the, the dry bags that sit on the top uh, of the pack rafts as well. So you've always got that option of having a, having a dry bag that actually clips onto the D-rings on the stern. So we're going to hop over the over the sluice and continue further down the river. So we're just coming up to the Seeker at Sauna, not whether you see a video. End of the summer we came down and had a visit, I'll stick a link to it up the top there now. Uh, but if you're ever on this part of the river, that is an absolute fantastic little stop off. Uh, I'll show you some pictures of it. Getting a bit hungry, I think. We'll turn around. We'll portage at Wainford and we'll stop and have something to eat there, I think. Feet are killing me. What a lovely day. Right, let's get some water on the go and uh, let's have something to eat. All right, oh hello Mr. Swan. using to cook here is just a very very small mess burner and just one of these cheap little wood stoves that you can buy off uh, 
off Amazon or eBay. Um, so that's acting as my windshield. Uh, the kettle itself is by a company called Eagle Products. This is a, uh, a Norwegian company, so this is a very typical sort of Scandinavian um, style of, of kettle. What I love about this kettle is it has a massive surface area on the bottom there, so you're going to heat up a lot quicker than having something that is quite small at the bottom and then sort of bevels out as well. So hence the reason why these are made like this is basically so it will get as much heat as it possibly can. Um, it's a stainless steel kettle with a copper, copper plated on the bottom and uh, I've had this years and it's an absolute fantastic bit of kit. And we've got reindeer stew. So this is a real termat meal, this one is, I've had this before. This is absolutely beautiful, this, uh, this meal is. And uh, what I love about the real termat stuff is that once it rehydrates, it is literally just like eating one of grandma's soup. Not that my grandmother cooks uh, uh, reindeer very often, but um, it reconstitutes absolutely fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to this one. What an absolute beautiful day. Right, so here we are. So we're back at Bungie Stave just behind me here. So that basically wraps up this week's video. So thank you for watching. So there is a review of the Neris Just Fun, the Whitewater variant. There are two other variants of this pack raft available. So please, if you want some further details of those, find that in the description below there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button just below here. And as always, there's a couple of videos there for you to take a look at. And then hopefully we'll see you next week on the next one.